from my perspective, gravel racing has changed. It's become almost as cutthroat as road racing. The mental attributes are definitely the biggest thing to succeed in gravel racing. You have to trick yourself that the distance is no big deal. It's definitely more of a mental task than it is a physical task. <laughs> you have to either be really strong or really tough. It helps if you're both. The current racing atmosphere has really helped us develop a new revolt. It is much more competitive. We knew that the bike needed to be more race focused. We came with a bunch of ideas of how we wanted to go faster. Giant was totally on board. Everybody is gonna enjoy it because it handles better, it is lighter, and it has a lot of comfort. Plus giving you all the options to throw in a bunch of water bottles or bike bags and go adventure however you want. If this bike doesn't work perfectly, we only have ourselves to blame because this is exactly what we wanted to race gravel on. <laughs> Could you repeat that question, please? The average gravel rider is doing it right. It's a challenge, but mostly it's about fun. And I see a lot of people having fun. There's just this magic in the air. We're talking hundreds and hundreds, thousands of people coming from all over to do this stuff now. It's a neat moment in the sport. Bigger training rides, less intervals, more snacks, more naps. That's gravel racing. Yeah.